In this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate the change in pH when 5 milliliters of 0.1 molar HCl is added to a 100 milliliter of a buffer solution that is 0.1 molar of NH3 and 0.1 molar of NH4Cl. The Kb for NH3 equals 1.8 times 10 to the negative fifth. So the first thing is to convert the milliliters and molars to millimoles. So I have 5 5.00 milliliters of 0 0.100 molar HCl. We remember molarity equals moles per liter or millimoles per milliliter. So to calculate millimoles we take milliliter times molarity equals millimoles. So that we will get 0 0.5 millimoles of HCl. And the next one is 100 milliliters of 0 0.1 molar of NH3 and the same for NH4Cl which both equal 10 millimoles. Now to find the original pH without adding any HCl, we will use the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation, which is pH is equal to the pKa plus log of the concentration of the base over the concentration of the acid. So pH, so first we need to find pKa we're and we're given Kb. To find pKa, we first need to find Ka. Ka times Kb equals Kw. Ka times Kb equals 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14th. And we're given Kb. So Ka equals 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14th all over 1.8 times 10 to the negative 5th, which is the Kb, which will give us 5.6 times 10 to the negative 10th. So P and to find pKa, we take the negative log of the Ka, which will give us negative log of 5.6 times 10 to the negative 10th, which equals 9.25. To find pH, we'll plug in the Ka, 9.25, plus log of the concentration of the base over the acid. And also use the moles of each since it's just a ratio. So the moles from up above what we calculated was 10 millimoles of NH3, which is the base, and over 10 millimoles of NH4Cl. This is equal to 1. Log of 1 equals 0. So this whole thing cancels out. So the original pH is 9.25. Now to find the pH at the end, we'll set up an ice table. So we we'll start with NH3 plus the acid, the strong acid, HCl, which goes to NH4 plus Cl minus. So we we'll start with 10 millimoles of NH3 and we're starting with 0.5 millimoles which we calculated at the beginning 
and we also have 10 millimoles of NH4 to start with. We can ignore the Cl minus. All of the acid will be used up. It is the limiting reactant. So we take all of that and we subtract it from over here as well. And it's going to end up on this side of the reaction. So we're left with 9.50 and 10.5. We'll use the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation once again. pH equals pKa from the earlier, which is 9.25, plus log of base over the acid. We have 9.5 over 10.5. Once you do all the math, you get 9.21. So this is our final pH. To find the change in pH, we take the final 9, well, take the final 9.21 minus the starting 9.25 and we're left with a negative 0 0.04.